Hi guys and welcome to another edition of I Love Lucy and it is basically retro Mattel retro um, WWE figures volume 2 so I've picked up another little batch of the um, retro figures that I am um, that I brought you um, the other week um, another seller on my Legion of Hasbro group um, is selling off a batch of his um, retro figures um, and I managed to pick up four of them really really reasonably so um, roughly you're looking at about 15 quid a figure for the majority of these retro figures now. So I got them for about that price. So I'm very pleased with that um, with that deal. So which figures did I get? Well, starting with a figure from Series 1, um, I did manage to um, pick up um, this um, Ultimate Warrior. Um, so this is a Series 1 Ultimate Warrior. So... Um, he sits in the first part of my collection, so I have made space all around the collection for him to fit in there. So looking forward to that. He has got this sort of side-to-side -side sort of um, should be shaky um, action. Doesn't do anything for, but he's got side to side. So um, a bit different to the um, the Hasbro. The one thing I probably possibly liked would have liked to see with this warrior is the. Um, there, there was like a Hasbro with the green trunks. Now there's been that many different colours and combinations of the Warrior. Doing this with sort of a different colour scheme wouldn't have um, gone amiss. But I suppose it is a classic look for the Warrior. So um, you can't complain too much. So from Series 1, there is the Ultimate Warrior. So I've still got about um, three more figures from Series 1 to track down. I've completed 2 and 3. Um, so you don't see any of them in the figure apart from when I put them in the collection. So then the next figure I um, picked up came from Series 8. Now, the original figures that was um, went up to Series 10 before the latest series that have come out. And I picked up another one of the classic um, Legends figures that they added into it. And it is this Iron Sheik. So I never had him in the original one. And he has got the same move as the Warrior, just the side-to-side -side sort of shimmy shimmy shake shake. So the Sheik's doing the shake there, having a good little... Shaky, shaky, shaky time. But um, Series 8 completed with that um, Iron Sheik. And he goes in with Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy and Zack Ryder. So um, nice to get another series finished off. Um, then dropped into Series number 9. And I managed to pick up um, Randy Orton. Now this is um, another one of the rarer figures, I do believe. Um, and I think that the, the seller did me a really, really good price on the... Um, on the four figure, so I was really pleased to get Randy Orton in the mix. Really good condition. The Orton is intact on his um, backside. Sometimes you see that a little bit scuffed up, and the tattoos on the figure is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really pleased to add this Randy Orton. I'm doing a bit of a different move, the old clothesline. So um, pretty cool looking Randy there. So I'm um, really pleased with that one. So Randy Orton into the collection. And then um, the um, final figure um, was, um, oh, I've completed my Hardy Boys tag team. I got from Series 10, Matt Hardy. So still a couple of figures from Series 10 to get to finish that series off, but I'm sure I'll get them eventually. So really pleased with Matt Hardy. He, he does do the worst move um, in this um, in this sound with the old kicking leg, which is a bit of a, I think it's a bit of a naff one, <laughs> to be honest with some of the moves they have done, but. Nevertheless, did want to um, get the Matt Hardy to um, add into the collection. So, they are the four um, Lucy's I have picked up. But, um, how do they look with the rest of the retro line? So, let's go get them on the display and have a look in the, um, in the um, next clip. So, guys, there you can see the new figures. Um, added into the um, retro collection we'll start at the top so the ultimate warrior came in series one so the other two series one figures there we have is john cena and the undertaker so i've um i've got um the ultimate warrior in there with series one still three figures to track down in series one so hopefully i'll be able to manage to get them sooner rather than later but really cool to add the ultimate warrior in and then the rest of the figures were all newer figures. So we had the Iron Sheik, and he was he came out in series number eight. So you can see him there with the rest of um series um series eight um in the collection. So it's Braun, Stone, Braun Strowman, um Zack Ryder, Iron Sheik, and Jeff Hardy. 
Um, then the next figure I picked up was the Randy Orton. He came in Series 9. I've only got a couple of those figures at the moment. and Well, basically two of them, Samoa Joe and Randy Orton. And then um, we've got um, Matt Hardy, and he came out in Series 10 with Diesel. A couple more figures to um, track down in that collection. But I am working my way into completing some of the older figures. Um, I'm well on top, as you've seen, with me um, picking up the um, the newer collections. So just waiting for them NWO figures to um, drop in fairly soon, hopefully. Um, and then we can um, add them into the collection just here. Um, so they are coming very, very soon. But otherwise, really pleased with how the retro collection's coming on. So um, that's it for now. Let's um, go and close out this video. So guys, there you have it. Um, the new retros added into the um, added into the collection. I'm sure you'll agree it is a brilliant collection to um, to pick up. I'm really pleased with the um, four new ones I've got. Um, added, I've taken a few off the list. Um, I do believe that I'm um, I'm not far off um, completing the um, the original sort of run of them. Um, I'm just trying to have a little work out in my head. I do believe there's about sixteen figures left from the original run of. Um, I'll flip my page over here. Um, the original run of um, forty four to um, to get so sixteen left out of the original forty four. Um, but I am getting to the stage where it is some of the more expensive figures to pick up. So I'll be gradually picking them up. I'll not be going um, all in on them straight away to um, try and get the collection full. I'll just gradually pick them up and um, piece them in as we go along. But um, as we're on this journey through the YouTube channel, I will keep um, popping them up on an Isle of Lucy episode. I might wait till I've got a few bundled together just to show you which ones I've, um, I've picked up so we can... Um, slowly um slowly complete them and i will be trying to pick up the um new series as they come out as i say i've got the um the series 14 ringside um nwi exclusive set due any day so i will get that recorded and showing you as we unbox them so um as i am um, as i say if you have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments let me know if you've got any of the retro figures yourselves um and by all means, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when everyone does subscribe to the channel. And watch these videos I'm bringing you on a daily basis. Um, like I say, I do enjoy um, doing the um, retro figures. So um, hopefully you're enjoying seeing them. Otherwise, that is it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.